So these are the three best core exercises for your golf swing. So three exercises that are gonna help you fire up your core. We saw a lot of questions about this. Um, it's not an area that we've touched on before. So this is exercise number one. Yeah, so Alex, we're going to do a version of a side plank. Okay. So when people do core work, they do a lot of kind of forwards and backwards motion. We don't do a lot of rotation and a lot of work through the side of the ribcage. So we're going to start with the easier version of this. So if we've got any senior golfers out there or anyone who's new to training, this is kind of the easier way to do it. So we're going to get you to come down into a side plank position, but onto your knees. And then all we're going to do is bridge up into that side plank. Now, if that's tricky in itself, just get used to holding that for about 20, 30 seconds. Seconds. When you feel like you can comfortably hold it for that amount of time, we're going to take that top arm and we're going to rotate through the gap of your body, twisting the torso out and all the way up. And then the aim is to keep the hips as high as possible. We're going to squeeze the glutes so it keeps the pelvis steady. And you're just going to do about 10 to 15 reps of those on each side. So even this is still quite a challenge, right? This is hard. Yeah. And this is the easy one. So we should point out, sorry, I'll just have to come in and talk here. <laughs> we should point out we're going to do each of these exercises with an easier and a more advanced. Yeah, approach. so if you find one too easy, you can go straight to the advanced, vice versa. And we would do that 10, 15 reps each side. Yeah, correct. Perfect. And then if we move on to the advanced version, we're going to get you to go into a full side plank position. And again, a prerequisite to this has to be able to hold at least a 30 second side plank without feeling like you're going to completely collapse. So as soon as you can get into this position here, we're going to take the arm and you're going to rotate through the rib cage, twisting underneath, out and up. And you're trying to keep the hips steady, you're going to use the glutes to keep them tight. And what you want to avoid is too much rock forwards and backwards. So it's just a twist, out and up. And again, this is a little bit more difficult, so we'd say maybe 10 to 12 reps each side is probably enough. <laughs> can and feel it. Like how I think about this is if you're struggling with the first bit, yeah. go take it a stage back and keep building yourself up to potentially get into That's the, it. the end one. Yeah, I think with the side planks or front planks, you have to have the prerequisite of being able to hold the position in brace really strong before you bring movement into it. Fab. Okay, exercise number one and the two variations. Let's get into exercise number two. Yeah, so exercise number two, I really like this one. I don't know what it's technically called. I call it a plank dissociation. So a bit of a separating plank. I'm, I'm not sure that's its uh, anatomical phrase, but we'll call it that. So this one, again, ideally a prerequisite is to be able to hold a front plank for at least 30 seconds. If you can't do that, start with normal front plank, build yourself up, then we can come into this version. So we're gonna do this one in a press up position. And this is nice because it sort of mimics an area of rotation and a drive from the lower body, which which is what we start to see in the yeah, swing. Yeah. We get a backswing and a downswing drive in through the hips. So if I come into press up position here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one hand off and I'm gonna rotate up to the ceiling like this as far as I can. Again, you can take your head with you. And then as this hand comes down, my opposite knee comes into the elbow. And then I'll go to the other side like this, up to the top and down. This takes some coordination, doesn't it, this one? It does. It's, uh, it's quite tricky, this one. Would you do that one based on like a time or reps? How would you work on that one? So for that one, I tend to go reps. So we're looking at 10 reps each side is a really good okay, number. So that, so around and leg to the opposite is one. Is one. Yeah. Okay, so it's one, two, not yeah. one, one. Correct. Two. Yeah. Okay. That one definitely looks a little bit harder. So just to make it clear, we're starting, if you can't do a plank, don't advance further forwards. Yeah. I think plank has to be your main starting point. And again, as we did on that side plank, you can start plank on the knees. Okay, let's get into exercise number three. Okay, now, so before we get into exercise number three, I saw a few questions about this band here. Yeah, the red band. Um, you can get various different weights of it. The weight doesn't matter too much. You just want to be about one centimeter thick with this band. That's roughly about the right resistance for what we'll use it for. Yeah, um, and if you go through the host of videos that we've created every Tuesday, there are different exercises that yeah. we can do. I think we should actually do a video and please hit that thumbs up button if you think we should do this as well. Um, a series just on the band, how to make band work. Yeah. yeah. Band work. <laughs> 
Okay, so final exercise, this is again rotation. Am I going right leg down or left leg down? So we're going right knee down, left leg up. That's it. So you, you're turning into the lead side with okay. this. So all we're going to do with the band is come across slightly. So you've got a bit of resistance on. So if I get you to just shuffle across to me a little bit, Alex, first. And then all we're going to do is just rotate, keeping the arms straight. So you're pulling the torso and the arms as one, and then resisting on the way back. So what we don't want is a pull and it's a yank you back the other it's side. Correct. You're trying to control it, so big turn and then slowly resisting as you come back with the band that way. And then what I want you to be doing is squeezing this quad here at the front, pressing this foot into the floor so we're creating some stability. You're up nice and tall and it's just nice and smooth. Ten reps each side's good for this. And again, if you do have bands at home, if you find this too easy, you can always go to the next thickness up. The next band's probably about an inch thick, typically black, most, yeah. most brands. You can always try that as well. That'll give you a bit more resistance. And you can do this together, couldn't you, as well, if you want to take it really, really hard? Yeah, so as we've done a couple of times, like our partner drills with the band, I could take the band right the way over here, put you in the position you've just been in, and then try and get you to pull me over from there. Makes it a little bit harder. Fab. So there you go. Three of our best core exercises to help you and your golf game. Thanks so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. As we always say, down below is the link to what Nat does, all her information on our website. And remember, there's a waiting list. If you want to get onto her monthly subscription, you have to, what do you have to do? Just get in touch. Get in touch. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.